Hey, how's it going? My name is Tyler and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys another tutorial in Premiere Pro. So today I'm gonna to be talking about two things that videographers usually skip over and don't take the time to focus on. One is frame rate and the other one is speed ramping. These two things might seem really basic to some of you, but I've had a lot of emails, a lot of messages of people asking me what frame rate I shoot in and how to properly speed ramp your footage. So today we're gonna go over that and we're gonna jump into Premiere Pro and I'm gonna show you how those things go hand in hand together to create some awesome cinematic sequences. All right, so we are here in Premiere Pro. I have three clips selected. I, bought, I brought one in that is 23 frames per second, which is in the timeline. I have one that is 60 frames per second and one that is 120 frames per second, all filmed in, in camera. So first of all, let's start off with this one. Uh, we'll put it back down, we'll put the speed back to normal, which is 100%. Uh, and when you play it back, you'll see that it is just a normal clip. It looks good. So now when we try to slow this down, we right click it, we go to speed, and we go to here, we go down, let's say, pretend we thought it was filmed in 20. 120 frames per second when we want to slow it down a lot. So let's put it down to 25% and let's watch this back. You'll notice that it looks really choppy and does not look good. That is because I'm trying to slow down a frame rate size that is 23 frames per second in camera and I'm trying to slow it down to be slow motion, which you cannot do. So that is one thing you have to watch out for when you're filming in slow mo or when you're wanting to put slow motion clips into your timeline is make sure you're actually filming it in slow motion, in body, in camera. So as you can see, when you play it back, it's super choppy and doesn't look smooth at all. I mean, it looks okay, but it does not look cinematic at all. So now, let's go and delete this one out here, and let's click this one here that was already filmed in at 120 frames per second. So let's drag this clip in, keep it the ex existing settings. Uh, as you can see, this is what it looks like, normally filmed, normal speed, me jumping across the river behind a waterfall. Now, when you slow this one down to 120 frames or to 25%, it will look a lot smoother. So now I'm gonna show you guys time remapping and speed ramping effect that you can use with this clip. So now you got your clip in the timeline, you wanna watch it through and you wanna slow down, let's stop it right about, right before I jump. That looks good, so we'll right click that box that says FX, right click that, go down to time remapping, hit speed, and it brings up this bar here. As you can see, you can drag it up faster or slower in percentage. Like I said, in, if you're filming in 120 frames per second, you can drop it down to about 25%. If you're filming in 60 frames per second, you can drop it down to about 50%. You, want, you don't want to go anything lower like that or you'll get that choppy look like we did with the clip that was in 23 frames. When we tried to slow that one down to 50% or 25%, we notice we get really, really choppy look. And that will happen the same way as if you're filming in 60 frames per second and you try to slow that down more than it is actually able to. So this one's filmed in 120 frames per second, which is good. So now we stopped it here. Right before I'm about to jump, we're gonna hit this little keyframe here and we'll create two boxes. Now what we can do is drag the second box down and let's put it down to 25%. So now when we watch this back, it's normal speed and right as I jump, it's slow motion. Looks pretty good. And it looks a lot smoother than the other one. As you can see, there's no glitching or anything in that clip. So that looks pretty good. So now if you want to smooth it out a bit, you can see these two lines here. You can drag it out so it's a gradual slope. So it's going from fast and gradually down to slow motion. Normal speed down gradually to slow motion. If you want it to go back up speed, let's keep that back like that. Uh, so now it's going fast to slow motion and then right there, let's say we want to speed that up, we'll pause it, we'll hit another keyframe, click there and we'll drag this line back up. Say we want it 100% to regular speed or maybe we want it faster. Let's go to 170. Let's mess around with it. So let's play this back and watch. Normal speed, slow motion and back to fast again. 
So yeah, <clears throat> that creates a cool effect when you're editing. Uh, one thing you gotta remember though is when you're filming these in slow motion, if you're setting your camera to 60 frames per second in camera, you have to make sure you're setting your shutter to the correct speed as well. So if you're filming in 60 frames per second, you gotta make sure you set your shutter to 120 frames. You're always doubling whatever the frame rate is with your shutter. So if you're filming in 120 frames per second in camera, make sure you're filming in 240 for your shutter speed. That will create a lot better look and a lot smoother look to your footage when you're slowing it down in post. Oh.